Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our four o'clock live chat for this Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a perfect, perfect day. I'm Heather and I'm going to be taking you through how to airbrush. And so in these, hello Amber, in these live chats, what we try to do is just show you all the different options. And so maybe you're interested in airbrush or maybe you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Do I have to do everything airbrush? We show you that there are no rules when it comes to airbrushing, which is pretty darn cool. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Good to see you. Um, and so as you can tell, I do have some makeup on. And so I did prep my skin already and I did put some, con um, some concealer underneath and on my lids. Um, in the two o'clock, we started just the lid, but I did do it at the bottom as well to save us some time. But when, hey Dova, hi everybody. So when you start, I'm gonna show you this real quick. This might, you might've got your kit, probably looks like this. You're going to get the machine plus two bottles of foundation. And we give you two bottles of foundation so you can color match and use it, practice, do all of it, you know, do everything. We want you to dive in and start using it. And then we give you a bottle of love and a bottle of blush. Now the blush, that will change depending on the kit, um, but there you go, it will. Um, hello, oh, oh, thank you, Amber. Now also, I'm gonna show you the four things we also want you to do when starting out. No, ma'am. When starting out, we want you to first get it out of the box. That is the number one thing is to get it out of the box. Try it. Dova loves it. I love it. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Dova. Oh, Tina got hers yesterday. So that is the first thing is, we, Tina, get it out. Have you got it out to practice yet? I'm waiting. I want to hear. Um, but that's what I want you to do is get it out. As soon as you turn it on, there's air that comes out. And so just feel what that air is going to feel like all over your face. Then you can also practice with water. Put water right in here and uh, just feel it on your face. Feel it on your face. You're going to love it. And then keep it four finger widths away. I'll do this side. Four finger widths away. Keep moving and barely pull back on that trigger. That's what you really want to practice on because when, keep this in mind, don't think about traditional makeup. Airbrushing is different. It apply, it's being applied differently and the results are different. So obviously it's not going to be anything like traditional makeup. So make sure you don't blur those lines and, and think, oh, well, I need to see it. Mm -mm. How it goes on is so light, so airy that, get it airbrush, uh, that it really will, it dries instantly. You're not going to see it. It just, it's like magic. So Tina's already, how, what do you think so far? She did get it out. Um, oh, and Marcy ordered hers this morning. Yay, Marcy, or I'm, Marcia. Um, what, how long have you been uh, looking at the airbrush to order it? I'm always curious to see how long people wait to order it. Um, Tina says, my boyfriend says that I look younger than, awesome, I love it. Just, I'm gonna start going real quick, guys. Um, I'm going to use the, let me take this off so I can see everything. Um, go back to my comments. Okay, I'm actually gonna start with the Cut One palette. So this is going to be kind of crazy, uh, doing things a little differently, but I think doing it this way, it shows you how, um, how, how airbrush makeup is not like traditional makeup. So, all I have on my face right now is I did prep my skin with the moisturizer um, and then I put our buff concealer on my lid and underneath my eyes. Now I'm going in here and I'm going to use the cut one to contour. So on Facebook, Mar Marcia says she's been looking at it for quite a while. What made you change your mind? Like, or not, or not change your mind, but what made you make make, make that plunge. Um, whoops, what's what does the bad finish come from bulls? 
Um, uh, Krista, the mat will cover uh, any breakouts. Um, it is a medium to full coverage, so it'll definitely cover uh, any breakouts. Jackie said on Facebook, the airbrush is truly awesome. Christina says, I bought mine two weeks ago. I've gotten more compliments on my makeup than ever, than you ever have. That's awesome. Been using it. Krista says she's been using it since February. Oh, Jackie, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. All right, so I'm going in, and Jackie says that she likes to see my happy face. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with the Cut One palette, and I'm going to contour first. I have not even an airbrush. All I have on is my um, is a concealer under the eyes and also on my lids. I do have darker lids, and so I do like... Um, to kind of cover that, I kind of like to make, just like putting foundation on, evens out your palette. Um, Cause a lot of us have different color, like different colors in our skin. And so evening that out helps a lot. Um, let's see, after seeing a Facebook ad, I saw TV and figured it was a, oh, I like it. It was a sign. I love it. Okay, so Krista, um, one thing I would recommend is if it's a head, if you feel like you do need heavier coverage, maybe the mystic, but take your time in covering. It isn't like traditional makeup. So go in and cover where you need to cover, then make a pass and then go back. You get coverage by passes, but the passes are not all at once. Does that make sense? So if let's say your breakout was right here, you're not going to go in there and go, Shh, you're, you're going to go in, make a pass, make, you know, a full pass on the face, maybe go back and then keep going. So try to give a little time in between just so um, it's not all at once, but we might need to get you uh, maybe a CC concealer um, and do some pre-coverage before as well. All right, so I'm going in. I did a little bit of contouring and I'm just gonna run a, uh, some highlighter on my eyes just to give me that highlight look. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do, I used the Tulip blush last hour and I really liked it. Um, it's very pink. Like it's our lightest, pinkest uh, blush. Um, and I'm digging it. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm now going to go in. One, two, two drops, that's it. And yes, I'm putting airbrush on top of traditional makeup. It is okay, why? There are no rules. You can do what you want. Um, My daughter bugged me to get one. I did love, uh, oh, wow. I love it. Yeah, you, uh, we always say like, you can definitely share the airbrush because you're not touching your face. It's not like sharing a makeup brush or something like that. But usually I find like, if it's a mother daughter, they're like, oh, I don't want to share anymore. <laughs> Especially if you travel or anything, you're like, no, I'll take it, no. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of pink right there to my cheeks. And now I'm going to actually switch. Thank you. I like my little camo. It's a camo dress, actually, um, which is pretty fun. All right. Now, actually, I'm going to stop right now um, because I'm now going to go. Let's do some eyes. I want to do eyes. But I'm trying to think if we're doing, like, no rules. Let's look at the optics. I used the click and play eyeshadows earlier and I love them. If you've used any of our eyeshadows, you know that they're pretty amazing. Um, a little bit goes a long way and they're pretty cool. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little bit of reflection, which is I'm using the optics eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go in and do a little bit on my crease, just moving back and forth. Now keep in mind, everybody's creases are different, right? 
So if you have smaller eyes, you maybe don't want to go all the way in with the color. You might want to stop right here. So you just have to really kind of gauge where you need to go. Keep in mind that darkness is going to close the eye and lightness will open it. All right, back and forth. Back and forth. I'll come down a little bit more. Right there. And so that's just right there in my, my crease. But again, you don't have to go all the way in. You can stop it just right there. And I find if you're new to doing eyeshadow, which we found um, is the case uh, for a lot of people. So that's why I'm kind of explain, going into a little more detail. Um, you, you, you know, look at, look at your eye and just adjust it for what you need. You don't have to even go this dark. So if you're new to eyeshadow, just do a little bit. You don't have to keep adding it. Our stuff is so high pigmented that you can blend it out and, and it can be lighter, darker. It can be whatever you need it to be. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I'm going to let my mom. Oh, good. Tina's going to let her mom know. Yay. Um, love the click and play. Jackie says she loves the click and play. I love it because it's also great for traveling because you can make up your own palettes and kind of have fun with it. Um, I know what I want to do. I'm like, I keep thinking about what I want to do. Uh, let's go in with, I think this is it. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm grabbing another product real quick. And I feel like there's something on my nose. Yep. There's hair on my nose. Um, let me see how I was like, something is tickling me. There we go. Perfecto. All right, so now I have that color. Now I'm going to do chromatic, which is the other half, and I'll show you which ones I'm using. I'm using, oh, I'm using these two right here. In the optics eyeshadow no there's not uh brenda we talked about that i just think those would be hard to do because of the fact everybody's eyes are so different um so i feel like the instructions will help a little bit more than trying to you know do a template All right, I'm gonna do that right, and I'm actually now um, mixing illuminated and chromatic together, which definitely gave me a little more pop. And I'm just doing that right on my lid. So Janet, I'm using our brushes and um and, and one similar to it we have one that's a blending br a blending brush and um and then i'm using another one that's just real similar to that one and where where did mine go i just grab whichever one i see <laughs> so this is a blending brush and I'm just going in there. I just blended those harder lines off. Now I'm going in with black light, which is actually the green color that's in the optics. And I'm going to do that just on right there. That's the technical term. Right there. And I'm not even moving the brush. I'm like, boop, 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 just not even picking it up right there just to create a little more depth.
I have to say, I think Renee has inspired me to do like fun colors. I feel like, again, this summer is going to be all about fun colors and look at that. I love that. And that is the green. So all of these were from the, so I used the top one of the green. I used both of these and then I mixed this one and this one for the lid right there. And then taking the flat eyeshadow brush and using reflection. And I'm going to line the bottom. All right. So eyes are done. And I have to tell you, I don't know why, but I'm like, So I'm just going to blot real quick because I haven't even done foundation yet. We have just done the eyes. We did a little bit of traditional concealer. I did um, contouring with um, the, the cut one palette. I did all the eyes with the optics. Um, what else did I do? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, blush, the tulip blush. And now I'm going to airbrush. So I'm going in and I'm going to add, gosh, maybe four drops. I bet I don't need, I don't even need all of that. Uh, Janet's like, I will never go back to traditional. All right, so now I'm gonna pull back on my trigger. And then making my passes, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do. I'll do it in a minute. Make my passes and just, I make one pass all the way around. And then, because right now, all I'm doing is blending everything together. I'm going to go back to, woo! I'm going to go back to this one. Need to clean my styluses. I ain't gonna lie. All right, put a couple more drops in here. Okay. And now. I can go back. Making passes, blending it out. Yay! Nancy, that's awesome, Nancy. Nancy, after the last video, went to the bathroom and did her eyes. I love it. So just to you know, think about it, guys, I actually contoured with a traditional contour, with a powder contour first, and now I'm doing the foundation. There's, I don't know any makeup you can do that with. Um, now I'm just using it to blend. And look how everything looks so seamless, so blended. So as long as you are getting those, you know, that those movements down, like keeping it four finger widths away, keep moving, barely pull back on the trigger, everything is going to be amazing. You're, you know, you can get it down. You can do any airbrush because you have those moves down. Um, <laughs> all right, now I'm going to do, I did two drops, but I don't probably need that. This is the pearl luminizer, which of course is one that I never used and then started using it. Now I love it. I'm going to do a little bit on my eyes just to give it a little more funness, really concentrating it more on the inside. And I can go down my nose a little bit and do a little bit of shimmer right at that high cheekbone area. Tina on Facebook said, whoever came up with this is totally awesome. Girl, I wish I came up with it. I'd be doing these live chats in Bali <laughs> or Belize. All right, so now that that is done, this thing keeps getting away from me. Okay. 
I'm going to do lips. Hmm, what lips do I want? This is Desert Rose, which might be a good one to do. Or, ooh, let's do this one. Moroccan Rose. Let's do Moroccan Rose. So I did already have, um, I did already have like my lip conditioner on earlier. I've used it all day today. So my lips are very moisturized. Um, so now I'm using the lip stain of Moroccan Rose. And look at that color. I love this. I'm going in. It's hard to talk when you're doing a lip stain. Cause you kind of have to work fairly quickly. All right. Ooh, I love it. So I hurry up and do it. And then I leave my little heart for a few seconds to let it dry. Cause you don't want to rub your lips together. And there's a, there was a hair on me. I had to get off. <laughs> um, no, it's still there. Um, you don't want to rub your lips together once the lip stain is on, because that's going to break up the lip stain. And so if you can do it um, and not rub them together, and then after it dries, just lick your lips like that. And then make sure it's off your teeth because it will stay there. There we go. All right. That's a pretty color. And then I'm going to go in, curl, lash, curl, lash. I am really digging the colors. Look how pretty that is. Can y'all see how detailed, like... I really like that. Me like it. Happy accident. Now I'm going to add some mascara, or you could add lashes. You could add the natural wings, glamour wings, diva wings. Add some to the bottom lash. And I love how this tip is shaped because I'm able to really get into like that corner and get mascara on in that corner without it getting everywhere. Um, you, it's easier also to put mascara on the bottoms. And then I use the larger part to really get get it get it on. And there you go. Voila, as they say. So isn't that great how airbrushing, how limited, I mean, you can do a little bit of everything and there are no rules. And and just like what I did today, sometimes taking things out of your normal routine, maybe you normally moisturize, you airbrush, you do you like your normal routine helps. It helps you. I know that, you know, I used to get like stuck and I'm like, oh, I feel like I do the same thing over and over. Doing it in another order really can give you a new kind of pep in your step or a new freshness to how you do your makeup um, and you can get some happy accidents and you can, you know, have some fun, but don't like my eyes. I didn't have a game plan. I knew I probably wanted to use the optics cause I haven't used that in a while. And it also, you know, just using something different and watching other people too. That's, I love watching Renee. I'm cleaning my stylist right now. Um, you know, she inspires me. She inspires me to, Oh, okay, well I'll do some fun colors instead of doing the neutral colors that I 
most of the time do, and having some fun with those colors. Um, you, you have to have some fun. It's makeup, guys. It's makeup, okay? We're not coming, we, we are, uh, I'm not coming up with, unfortunately, the cure for COVID. I'm just making myself feel prettier and we're just having fun and we're, it's makeup. So just have fun with it. We have some time right now. And so, I mean, hopefully we're getting back into our swing of things, but just have fun with it and experiment with it. If you mess up, take it off. There's plenty of times that I've been doing things and I'm like, woo, that is not pretty. Guess what? I just took it off. It's just fun. Hey, Darcy, how are you, my friend? And I love seeing Darcy do makeup. She does makeup. And it's fun just watching other people, getting inspiration by other with other people so we don't get stuck. And the fact that with Luminous, you can do things in all kinds of different ways. And try some with traditional. Try some with the airbrush. Try something you haven't done before. That is my challenge for you on this Wednesday. So there you go, guys. I hope you have a great, great day. Have a wonderful Wednesday night. And hopefully I will see you back tomorrow. Remember, oh, let me show you real quick. Remember that we are on a lot. We are on, <laughs> we're on YouTube mainly, but then we do jump on Facebook at four o'clock. Um, but we start at eight central time every even hour up until four and then four we're on YouTube and Facebook. So make sure you go jump over to YouTube and you, um, you subscribe to us. So we, so, you know, whoops. So, you know, when we're on, um, super important to know that. So, all right, guys, thank you. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.